Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be showing you um, a, a, a mural, a Kerala mural uh, done on a terracotta um, piece here. So what I've, um, so I think a couple of you had questions about um, uh, how one could, um, you know, replicate an image and, um, you know, if you're not good at freehand drawing, what are the options? So I think I had, I had probably answered this uh, to a person. Um, one thing would be to basically take a printout. Now I've just taken a printout of this image and what I've done is I've scaled it down, taken a printout like this so that it's easier. So roughly this is about two inches and um, if I have a pendant which is uh, in this particular size I think it makes my job a lot easier using a carbon. This is a carbon carbon sheet. It's a carbon paper. Uh, I have a black, it's a black carbon paper because mine's, um, mine's obviously lighter and I want the image to be transferred. So you can just directly do it or you can use a, you know, you, you can use this, um, transfer this onto a tracing sheet. And then from a tracing sheet, you can um, transfer the image onto this. But I wouldn't really use a tracing sheet currently. I would just, um, you know, use directly uh, the carbon paper with the black uh, side obviously facing downward on the pendant. I would keep this on top of this, make sure it's aligned well. And then, you know, just use a normal uh, HP pencil and just draw out the pattern. And you'll have the entire pattern uh, traced it out. Just make sure you do it um, very slowly and gently. You don't want to move the whole thing because then your the image that is going to get transferred on is going to be messy if, if you're not going to do it um, in a in a slow and a nice neat manner. Uh, so what are that's that's one of the uh, options of um, transferring an image if you are not. Uh, comfortable with freehand drawing. So what I would do in this case is my uh, the pendant that I have here is a round piece. So I had already you know started drawing it. Now I would just draw a freehand drawing of this because this is a relatively simple drawing. Um, and uh, you know if it if it gets any complicated, I would also just you know trace it, uh, which is also a good option. Another thing is if you are planning to make multiple pieces with the same design, uh, then this is a good option. If it's just a single piece, go ahead and draw like the way I'm drawing. I'm just using a normal pencil. Um, so I would just see the drawing and... And also just draw this. Uh, like how I've drawn it on this, you can just draw it onto a paper, cut it out and keep those as your, um, you know, your for future reference. So that's another thing you can do. Now we start with the painting. I would uh, essentially use just three of these uh, uh, brushes for uh, painting. Uh, so this is a double zero, uh, number two, and this is a number 12 brush all synthetic bristles uh, they are pretty soft and smooth and they come out really um, yeah, this is easy for me to do so um, I would make sure that my brushes are of very very good um, uh, quality in the sense I don't want them frayed especially my double zero because the black outline which comes in the end is done with a double zero and I really have to uh, make sure that this is is fine and it's got a great uh, a tip. If it's too frayed, you're going to get bad outlines and that can ruin your work. Now, one of the main things in this is to use, start with diluted paint. Now, these are just, these are really thick, uh, you know, these are thick quantities of paint I've kept over here. This is not, I wouldn't use it just like that. I would mix a little bit of water and I would make it diluted because uh, you may want to remember that you know you have these outlines that that are literally your uh, your reference so if you if you slather on a very thick coat of paint you're not going to see any of the outlines and it's going to be easy, it's going to be difficult for you to draw the black outline so be careful about that i would start off with a yellow and i would uh, more like a yellow ochre go on the face the eye, I would just go on to apply it everywhere. This is quite diluted. 
you can probably see I would do this for the neck as well that's done I would take a hint of very diluted orange now again remember that this has to be diluted you can see that there is just you know more water and less paint I just go on the borders Just go on the borders. Once that's done, I would again go back to the yellow, really diluted yellow. Then make sure it's, it's just blended well, the corners. a bit of a red kind of a highlight to the the lip part um, so this one is going to be relatively lesser diluted because I don't want it to be way too runny I've just given a bit of a, a highlight to the lip so We'll take a shade of green now, again diluted green, dark green. I'll just go on the earring. Just in the center. Again, the colors, um, these are just your options, you know, you can, I think in the video that I had uploaded with my mural paintings, I mean, uh, the pendants, there were so many color options, I think you can just go, you know, really varied on your color patterns. Just taking a little bit of red, just go on to do that. I'll go with a little bit of yellow, just a little bit of shading there. I'll use my thin brush. that the shading is done there and that's it yep so that's that now I would use again back to a double zero I would take a little bit of red again diluted I just accentuate a little bit here as part of the jewelry um, that I'm trying to work on the pearl kind of an aspect so what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm just making um, round more like drops of white paint here so all this will start gaining more definition once I add the uh, black outline 
you know the whole image will start becoming like really beautiful after i now obviously um i would before i begin with the um outline of the of the drawing i would also fill out the sides here so for the sides i would usually use a, a number 2 uh, brush here that i have you can use a three, uh, a 4 or a um yeah actually i think a 2 would be ideal for a pendant it just gives you more control um i would use a combination of colors here i probably use a shade of something like yellow first and i would then mix it with a little bit of green if you see i'm not looking at evenly spreading it out i'm just trying to get some shading aspect in there just so that there is a there is a nice contrasting color because this is a this is a shade of black here so i want something light as a contrasting color this is something light here so i want something a little bit different from these shades used here that's it just get another coat there murals require patience guys so you know you will need uh, it'll take a longer time to complete it which is probably going to, probably the reason my video is also going to be much longer than usual I'm just constantly working with just these set of colors that I have here. I'm not mixing, I mean I'm not adding anything new. Just, you know, the same orange green shades. Just go on to do that. That's it. I would leave it at that. I wouldn't do anything more there. And now what I would do is I'll work on this side, the face, um, front of the face. The front of the face, I would go on to do the same thing. Probably start off with a shade of orange and yellow. I think I'm happy with the way the outlines are now. I'm sorry, um, with the backgrounds now. So what I will now do is the double zero brush, black paint again. Um, make sure the dilution is just appropriate for the black paint because you don't want it too runny uh, because if it's runny it's going to ruin your outline uh, if your paint is already quite diluted in the bottle i'd suggest don't add water to it try it just the way it is and then begin so i just go on to do the outline once for the Obviously now is the um, the eyebrow.
I would also add a little bit of um, white please do this only after this um, the eye uh, really dries I mean the paint that the outline really dries I would just put a little bit of white over there that's just to give a little bit of a, a definition to the eye so I will usually fill it up with black and this is again I changed my brush to a, a two I would always go through the sides and the the borders especially I would usually do this that's um, A simple this is a really simple mural picture it's uh, nothing too complicated obviously when you when you trace down a picture you know it's going to look really nice and uh, you can also there are lots of things you one can do with this this is probably one of the most simplest of drawings um, I think just add a little bit of addition to it you know this can be so um, so addictive sometimes I always bring about a little bit of a touch of my own uh, into my pieces so you know feel free to do that yep I think I should stop <laughs> so yep this is it um, I really hope you like uh, uh, you like this um, I do think mural requires a little bit of practice uh, because I think there are so many uh, uh, talented artists out there who bring about absolute magic uh, when they do some some really nice mural Kerala mural paintings um, so this is just one humble attempt from my end um, so yeah I really hope you like uh, you like what you see uh, if yes please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel I'll try to bring about more such um, videos um, for you guys thank you so much for watching everyone